Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola, preferably known as Christopher Wansina from AWPS Renewable Energy in Lagos. It's a very cloudy day and we are going to tell you some upgrades we did and the reasons we did them. So I'll show you outside a little bit and you'll understand. Um, this is a pretty sunny day and there is no sun. This is very common um, in Lagos during the rainy season. So you can imagine your production from your panels are super low during this time of, during this time of year. It's 115 and the best we've done so far is 1.5 kilowatt hours. In fact, this is the best production we've seen today, about 560, 570 watts. Our batteries are charged at 28.2 volts, it's in the bulk, bulk mode. So we're having a good day, but if this persists, then tomorrow we'll struggle because we'll be taking more out of the batteries than we're putting in. The freezer is on, but the refrigerator is off. This uses a whole lot more power than this one, so this stays on 24 hours a day, and this is only on for 12 to 18 hours a day. So, in recognition of the challenges we have in Lagos, we had to make some upgrades. Uh, the upgrades we made, uh, most critical, was doubling the solar panels from one kilowatt to two kilowatts. So now we have eight panels on the roof versus one, which we had for a year and a half. Uh, the one kilowatt, especially during this time of year, proved a huge challenge to getting our batteries properly charged. And because we were not able to properly charge them, and NEPA has been absent for quite a while, we had batteries that consistently gave us problems. You have batteries that are charged, you have this will have six volts, this will have six volts, this will have six volts, and this will have four volts. And that was repeating itself over and over again. And the only way you could correct that is by being able to properly charge these batteries, get them to 29 or 30 volts, and also being able to equalize them. Equalize is a deliberate overcharge for two hours at 32.4 volts. A one kilowatt in panel couldn't do it. So we upgraded to two kilowatts, and it was amazing. It was night and day. I actually kicked myself in the head and asked myself, why didn't I do this sooner? Our batteries were getting full, our batteries were in float mode quicker, and we decided, okay, you know what? Let's get fancy, and we doubled the battery bank. So it went from 250 amp hours to 500 amp hours. Well, since we have a bigger tank, it's taking a little longer. Um, equalize definitely would take a while, but it's still possible. So what we're going to eventually do is go to three kilowatts in panels, so we're able to equalize these batteries properly. If you equalize these batteries properly, which means you bring all the cells, here's a cell, here's a cell, here's a cell, to the same specific gravity, these batteries are a beast. I mean, they will run forever. We weren't charging them properly and we're having challenges, but the minute we started charging them properly, we've not had any issues. The first time I set the alarm off, since we did this upgrade was yesterday, because we had two days back to back with clouds, um, so we didn't get any production into the batteries, and I decided to pump water, and that triggered the low battery voltage alarm. But otherwise, this has been phenomenal. We realized 500 amp hours is about the minimum you need in Lagos, if, if you live in Lagos, and at least two kilowatts in panels. If you live outside of Lagos, like in the north, or areas where we have good sunshine, then you're fine. If you live here in Lagos, it's the minimum you should get is two kilowatts in panels, and the minimum you should get is about 400 amp hours in batteries. So hopefully this was instructive. It was a very, very um, expensive but beautiful lesson for us, and we enjoyed it, and now we're sharing it with our customers, and when we do system designs, we incorporate those into our system designs. So again, this is Dr. Sola. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Um, talking to you again from Cloudy Lagos, and hopefully we'll see you again on YouTube very soon.